Hi guy, my name is Peter, today we will talk about CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful, spoiler here and we have some fun goodies that have the potential to create a bunch of cavities. It's nice to have an episode that feels like it centers around a pair of couples getting closer instead of arguing, backstabbing, or complaining all day. It will be fun for many of us. John, Finn, Finnegan will return Steffi Forrester's proclamation of love. CBS Spoilers, The Bold and the Beautiful, think we speak for most fans when they say the time has come. Seriously, would they keep her as Liam Spencer's backup girlfriend or put her in a convent? Since love is in the air, we'll see some conniving mixed in for good measure when Zende Forrester, Delon Demetz, shares her deepest desire with Zoe Buckingham. Nothing like some cheating while Carter Walton remains oblivious, but then where would the fun be if Zoe left him in the loop? Finn takes a big step after Steffi admits her feelings for him, it's not Finn's turn to profess his love for her and promise to protect and care for her for all eternity. In short, this is going to be one of those super sweet and cheesy scenes in CBS spoilers, the bold and the beautiful, eat it. There's no denying that Steffi deserved it, and we expect another surprise to come soon. Since the actress has announced that she is pregnant with her second child, we think they will be on the show soon instead of hiding it. This will open up countless plot opportunities that will further the relationship between her and Finn and cause Liam to lose much of his sanity. Zende's Secret With Zoe uncomfortable, Zende will take the opportunity to help her feel comfortable by sharing her deepest desire. What it will be is imaginable by anyone, as it can range from being with her to having your own fashion empire. We expect it to work and help her relax, but it will also melt her heart and give her some top-notch points in the score column. It looks like it's Carter's turn in Zoe's competition. Wonder if it will live up to the Zende bar set. At the CEO's office in Forrester, Charlie stopped by to personally congratulate Carter on his new position and to see how the new MSDS was working. Charlie sensed that work wasn't the only important thing in Carter's life and asked if there was any steam between Carter and Zoe. Carter smiled. Charlie said if Carter ever needed advice, he could go to Charlie, your love guru. Carter appreciated the offer, but so far he felt that things were going well with Zoe. In the design office, Zoe spoke with Zende about how surprised she was when Carter pulled out a key and started talking about a future together. It had been a sweet offer, and she had felt guilty for feeling stunned. Zende noticed that she and Carter had been seeing each other for a while. Even so, Zoe felt that there were many steps between this and living together. Zoe revealed that there were important steps she and Carter hadn't taken yet, but Carter was sure that was what she wanted. Zende asked how Zoe felt. He said he had begun to wonder if it was too soon, but he feared the wait might make him too late. It was very unexpected and Zoe had a lot to think about, he asked what Zende thought he should do. Zende didn't think he had to advise Zoe about Carter. Zoe said she wouldn't normally ask, but she couldn't talk to her work friends about it. He didn't want people to gossip about Carter in the office, but he felt he could talk to Zende. Zende thought it was because he was friends with Carter, Zoe indicated that she too considered Zende her friend. Zoe asked if she and Carter were rushing into things and if she was wrong to want to wait. 
Zendei asked him what Zoe was asking him and if he was asking him if he should stop seeing Carter. Zoe was sorry to put Zendei on the spot. She just had a lot of things to consider, and a lot of things could change for her and Carter and change for her at work. And with Zendei, Zoe felt that she and Zendei had a bond at work, and she didn't want to lose it. Not even Zendei. He was grateful that Hope had put them on his line, and it had been fantastic creatively. Okay, Zoe was suspicious of doing anything to screw it up, like asking awkward questions about her personal life. Zoe enjoyed listening to Zende but decided to let him work. When he started to leave, he took a guitar in a case. Zende was surprised it was his. He said he was a stress reliever and had been working on a song during lunch breaks. He asked where she performed. Zoe replied that she didn't perform. She just liked writing songs. He asked if he could hear one. Embarrassed, Zoe asked her if Sende really wanted her to sing to him. She didn't consider herself a professional or anything. Please. He asked. Zoe warned him to be nice and he said he was sure he was going to be her biggest fan. He took out his phone to record it and to show her later how awesome she was. Zoe sat down on the stool and began strumming the guitar and humming. He started singing in a slightly hoarse, slightly Billy Holiday style. Monday merges with Tuesday and Tuesday merges with Wednesday. And we start again. And we start again. He sang. At the end of the song, Zende was blown away. Zoe said she hadn't sung to anyone in a long time. He said it was beautiful and she smiled. In Brooke's cabin, Liam said he never meant to disrespect Hope. Hope told him he had to let Steffi live his life. Her life with Finn, Liam said. Hope claimed it was what it would have been if Steffi had wanted it. Not knowing what was so hard for Liam to understand, Hope asked what she expected to happen to Liam, if she expected Steffi to stop seeing Finn for her own will or if Liam would prefer her to be alone and pining for him. Hope told Liam that from where she stood, he seemed jealous and unable to accept that Steffi was moving on with another man. Liam claimed that his problem was Finn, not Steffi. Hope doubted Liam would have a problem with Finn if Steffi didn't have feelings for him. Liam stammered that it wasn't that. Hope stated that she was asking Liam not to challenge the relationship. Hope noticed that Steffi had undergone treatment and was in a really good place. Steffi had arrived there with the help of Finn, who was no longer her doctor. Hope thought Steffi was lucky to have Finn, and he was motivating her to move on with her life. Hope believed everyone should support him. She begged Liam to let Steffi go on, for all of us. For me. Agonizing, Liam said that what Hope wanted him to do seemed impossible. Stop looking after my daughter and her mother. He asked. Hope said she had her life to live and her family with Hope. Hope thought there would always be another man in Steffi and Kelly's lives. And Liam had to accept that.
reluctantly, Liam replied that Hope was right. Steffi would do what he wanted, and it was out of his control. He realized he couldn't stop Steffi from dating Finn, and he couldn't choose who Steffi brought into Kelly's life. This scared Liam. She claimed it wasn't jealousy. It had been Finn's way into Steffi's life by crossing the line as his doctor. Hope replied that Liam had crossed the line by telling Steffi who could and who couldn't get out. Hope needed him to see it and understand that it made her worried about their family. Liam said their family would be fine. He didn't want to jeopardize what they had. They had gone to hell and got back together and made a home for Beth and Douglas. Liam told Hope that she was his foundation and he didn't want her to question his devotion to her and their family. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.